If you're a musician, uh, whether it's a composer or you're a guy in a band or a girl in a band, um, you know, you need to network. Uh, you know, how would you get a record deal, whether it's today or whether it was 15 years ago? You need to network. You need to know people. You need to play out. You need to uh, heighten your awareness. Uh, at EA, we don't follow charts. It doesn't matter whether you're number 10 in the chart, because we're, we're not interested in something that's out right now. We're trying to future for forecast, musically speaking. But we are spending a lot of time online. We're looking in places like MySpace and YouTube and, you know, whatever places will come in the future, you know, Tag World, whatever the case may be, we're trying to see people's interest, real people's interest in bands. We do pay attention to that on an international basis. We're paying attention to clubs around the world. We're paying attention to mixtapes. We're paying attention to local scenes from Prague to, you know, to Beijing. No matter what it is, we're trying to pay attention to what bands are happening, what is moving people. That, that, that first level, those first level people in the know, you know, not the mass majority. And if you can bring that to our awareness, if we don't know about it already, um, you know, chances are we're going to pay attention. We try to, we, 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 um, we put our personal taste into the mix, but we, we always assume that our personal taste has nothing to do with it. If a band is important, you know, to a certain amount of kids somewhere, and we feel that that band is going to explode at some point or has the ability to explode, then we put our personal taste aside. It has nothing to do with us. Again, it has to do with kids that are going to play that game in the future. Um, when it comes to composers, the best thing to do is you've got to network the, and survey the sort of landscape. You've got to get an agent, somebody to represent you as a, as, as a composer. It's very difficult to walk in as a standalone musician and say, hey, I want to compose. You need to have somebody represent you. I'd say the f people in the film industry would say the same thing to you. Um, as for, you know, getting in touch with people in the game industry, you know, again, it's a networking opportunity out there. Uh, you've got to attend conferences. You've got to study the industry. Uh, as for being an executive in the game industry, uh, you know, there's a few industry, a few game companies that are starting to do what we do. I know that Activision has uh, someone who does something similar to us. Uh, some of the game uh, companies have licensing people, but they don't have supervisors yet. Um, you know, again, you need to you need to find out who the person is in charge of music is, as of those companies and go in there and uh, create a relationship. One thing that we have done, and it depends on who's watching this and how old they are, where they are, we hire college interns. You know, we, we have relationships with a lot of colleges across the U.S., from Berkeley to USC and places in between. And we will, once a semester, bring in a, an intern who we believe has the ability to get incorporated into the department. Uh, we just hired out of five years. Uh, we just hired our second one. Um, but you know what? That's okay. You know, um, we pay attention. If somebody is spectacular and we feel that there's a potential future for them in this industry, we'll hire them.